Okay, so this is how everyone's got it wrong on Wall Street. It is beyond it is beyond, beyond any fucking stupidity. So everyone on Wall Street is still thinking it's 1999, while the reality is it is 1974. Let me walk you through the historic analog. Okay, let's rewind a few months ago. What happened in uh, uh, October 2023? To be specific, October 7th. Oh, shit. Well, they got into it again. Uh, Israel and Palestine. Okay. What happened in 1973? 50 years prior. Yom Kippur War. When did that shit break out? October 6th. Well, October 6th, that is if you calculate it on United States time. But it was October 7th if you calculated European time. So hold on, Lee. What you're saying is in 1973, on October 7th, the same shit happened as in 2023, October 7th? Yes, that's exactly what the fuck I'm saying. I'm also saying... That in 1973, 1974, gold has had one of the biggest fucking rallies it has ever had. Now, partially, not necessarily due to the war, but war is normally one of the greatest catalysts for gold to go higher. So, but currently gold's got two major catalysts. Well, it is World War Three fucking unwinding. Unfortunately, as much as I hate it, I'm anti-war 100%. Okay, but it is happening. And it is the same shit that was happening in 1973, Yom Kippur War, okay? Many incidents happened between Israeli and Palestine going back in the history. It's many, many fucking times over and over and over and over again. But just to make the point, the dates coincide 50 years apart. It is October 7th. It's October 7th. So if you go back to the historic analog of 1973, 1974, that is the market that you should be trading. That is the fucking historic analog. It is not 1999. Most of these fucking Wall Street analysts, they weren't even fucking around. They didn't even know how to spell uh, option back then. I mean, they, look, this shit is serious because the market is calculated in 1999 because of AI. And here at 13 Market Moves, we have been screaming for our lungs to communicate to you that 1973-1974 is the analog for the end of 2023 and the rest of 2024. If you trade that, you will get the market right. If you go against that historic analog, you will get fucked. It doesn't matter if you trade stock or stock option. It doesn't fucking matter. Historic analogs, time from time, they, they're absolutely insane. And that's one of these times where you've got to stick to the right historic analog if you want to beat the market. So let's refresh our memory exactly on what exactly happened in 1973-1974 was one of the magnificent crashes that now nobody fucking remembers. So we've got the escalation of conflict between Israel and Palestine back in 1973. Same date, October 7th, okay, 50 years later, fast forward to 2023, uh, it is not a coincidence. It is not a coincidence, and that gives you a starting point on that historic analog. 50 years later, exactly, uh, Israel is being attacked. Now, nobody has has had the crystal ball to foresee that Israel was going to respond in the way it did. And I'm not taking any side here. I'm just saying it's fucked up. There are no kids that should be dying. And none of this shit should be happening right now. Okay. And shit is completely fucked up in the world. But from a trading perspective, okay, I just stick to the 1973 and 1974 historic analog. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that gold is going to continue going to the fucking moon. That also tells us that oil prices are going to continue going to the fucking moon. 
So when you get a drop in oil and when you get a brave drop in gold prices like today, sure, could that continue for another day or two? Sure. But overall, gold and oil will continue moving higher. Okay. But there's just, from the trading perspective, I'm standing this candle formation. Guys, we've caught another fucking 80x trade on gold puts. Gold puts? Yeah, believe it or not. Fucking gold puts paid out 80x in 2390 strike today within two hours from expiration. Because the big drop in gold came in like between 12 and 1. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. I guess all the traders... Uh, when to have lunch, and here, here it fucking comes. Okay, so uh, if you're a trader, don't have lunch between 12 and 1. Some of the biggest moves in commodities have been happening between 12 and 1. Now, this is not a drop. Like, this is a uh, type of drop that you could capitalize on as a day trader, right? This is not the kind of drop that uh, you would want to... Uh, yeah. This is the kind of drop you would actually want to use as a buying opportunity if you go in longer term. But as a day trader, like those are the kind of trades that you live for. I mean, 80x, I mean, fuck, those are, I mean, you just got to, you got to catch one of these trades, guys. I mean, if you've been following this channel, you haven't put together an 80x trades, it's there. But you got to be there for it. Just like... Okay, Israel didn't know how to fuck to respond in 1973 when when they were attacked literally on one of those uh, holidays where you know everybody's supposed to chill, everybody's supposed to not do anything. So uh, at the moment uh, in 1973, it was uh, Egypt and. Uh, some of the other um, Muslim states that that were basically uh, putting their forces together against Israel. The main strike happened on uh, Yom Kippur, uh, which is a, a holiday uh, for Israel. And so Israel was caught off guard, but they, they got their shit together pretty quick and uh, they were able to respond and they, they did some pretty crazy fucking maneuvers back in 1973. Uh, but if you study the history, one of those maneuvers, guys, was the fact that Israel was going to cross the canal uh, towards Egypt. And they were literally hours away from doing it. And just because they waited a little bit, there was an informer on the Egyptian side that informed Israel that Egypt was trying to do the same shit. At the same time, Israel was trying to do that. So it was a race to who was going to do this first. Now, considering the insight that Israel got, okay, they actually invited the enemy to cross the canal. They've set up a uh, basically a maze for to just obliterate. Uh, the enemy at that point. So they had a couple of really good moves historically back in 1973. And just as e Egypt was thinking they were winning the war uh, in, in the south of Israel, they got fucking smacked. Okay. And as the world is awaiting the response from Israel right now, I'm thinking, looking back at the 1973 circumstances, okay, you shouldn't wait for Israel to do something crazy. They're going to take their time. They're going to take their time. They're going to take their time, okay? And just when the time is running out, they're going to do fucking something, okay? And they're going to do something irrespective of what Biden tells them to do. They don't give a fuck, okay? Uh, Israelis, they didn't give a fuck in 1973. They didn't give a fuck before. Uh, yeah, United States is supplying them with all the weapons. But guess what? They're going to do whatever the fuck they want to do. So if they want to do something crazy, like they want to strike back at Iran, shit, that could happen tonight. That could happen tomorrow. Uh, the world was waiting for that shit to happen on Sunday night as they respond to the uh, Iranian attack on Saturday. Uh, the world was waiting for that shit to be responded to on Monday, Tuesday. Uh, but it hasn't happened. But looking at the history, okay, uh, 
like they don't they don't make decisions uh, like right on the spot to just go and do some wow. So it could be just another day, could be just another couple of days, but there is going to be a response. And right now the market has sort of cooled off. I mean, the market is expecting the response, but it's uh, it's not really priced in yet. But if you study 1973, there is going to be a fucking response and it's going to be fucking wild. And it's going to throw the whole fucking market off track. And so just go to 1973, Yom Kippur War, study it, and you're going to understand what's about to fucking happen. So it's 1973, 1974 analog overall that if you follow that, you will beat the market overall as a trader. Now, there's going to be some momentum opportunities like we caught today on uh, uh, gold puts. Now, that is a contradictory to, uh, to, to the type of overall movement in gold. Overall, gold is fucking moving higher. Just go look at the charts of gold, 1973, 1974, gold is moving higher. What else is moving higher is oil. 1973, 1974, gold is moving to the moon. But uh, guys, if you've been following the channel, I don't even have to tell you about it. We've told you about that when gold was at 68, when gold was at 70, when gold was at 72, when gold was at 73. Uh, I mean, fucking oil. <laughs> we told you when oil was at 68, 70, 72, 73, that gold potentially by summertime can hit fucking 150. The video is on the channel, okay? So to beat the market, I mean, I got some guys, guys, I mean, look, you don't have to be a day trader. You don't have to be a swing trader. I got some guys that are making some phenomenal money because they got into oil calls with eight month, uh, six, eight month, 12 months expiration in the 100 and 115 strike when oil was at 68, when oil was at 70. Those guys didn't have to day trade. Those guys didn't have to do shit. They are up huge. So, uh, but there's some trades that are going to way outperform. I mean, this oil trade is doing really good, but there's some trades that are going to really fucking outperform uh, uh, the, the oil trade, which is doing great. It's doing fucking phenomenal. If you got into it on January 1st with third tier market moves on our long term trading program, Phenomenal fucking returns. But there's some things that will outperform uh, that trade. But like, I don't know, 10x, 20x, 100x. So we've been doing some research on a lot of things, guys. And I'm telling you, I'm eyeballing a 500x trade right now. And you will be shocked because it's not even on the bear side <laughs> this trade is on a is on a call side holy shit leo uh and it's not about going calls on uh gold it's not about going calls on oil it's about completely something else that's going to blow your mind which is a stance uh against everything that's happening in the world right now and i think that trade is going to break out to the fucking moon and uh, I'll post some videos on that, guys, in the next uh, uh, few days. Uh, but you got to get in early on that movement. You got to get in early. It, any trade where you have a chance to go 50x, 100x, in this particular case, I think you will have a chance to go 500x. Any trade like that, you literally have to be early because guys that are going to be coming in next week into this trade, guess what? They're going to be paying three times more than what we've paid for it today. They're going to be paying 10 times more than what we've paid for it uh, tomorrow. Uh, so understand, timing is of essence when you're putting these long-term trades because when the rest of the market realizes, oh, hey, that's where the money is going to fucking go, then it's in most of the instances, it's too late. It is too fucking late. So... Just like Wall Street is a little too fucking late. They still think it's 1999. Wait, it's 1973, 1974. If you study the history of 1974, it's a big market crash. If 10 years from now, your kids will be studying the history of 2024, the chart will look like it's the chart of 1974. That's exactly what's about to happen. But yet, 
okay? If you take action right now to get in touch with a 30 Market Moves coach, we can give you one trade on the bear side that can go 100x, and we can give you one trade on the call side that can go, what, 500x? Get the fuck out of it, Leo. Why, <laughs> man, why didn't you just have me wait till this moment? If you told me you got a 500 extra coming, fuck, I, I would have just waited. I would have waited. I would have, Leo, what is that fucking trade? You want to know what is that fucking trade? You go to 13mmtv.com. You click the big orange button. You schedule a call with a coach, and we're going to walk you through it. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's nothing like you've ever seen before in your lifetime, but 500x potential is real, okay? And for those of you that nailed that 80x on gold today. Congratulations on the fucking drop on gold. Here you are, Leo, talking about 1973, 1974, how gold is going to the fucking moon, and here you guys shorting gold today? <laughs> yes, we are, because sometimes, okay, you got to pay attention to the charts, guys. It is the charts. When you're a day trader, swing trader, Pay attention to the charts because it is those counter trend movements that will get you paid fucking exponentially. So don't miss them. Yeah, most of the people would have, oh, shit goes higher, I buy calls. Oh, it drops, I buy puts. It doesn't work like that. If you just follow, uh, whoa, the market is in the green, you buy calls, you'll never make fucking money. If you look at the market dropping and you buy puts, you'll never put together a 50 or a 100x trade. I mean, you will even have a hard time putting together a 10x trade. So if you're tired of mediocrity, okay, and you're ready for 100 or 500 or you guys give us a call. Don't fucking wait. We are up all night. We're universal, international, guys. Uh, you just give us a call as soon as you can. Like fucking yesterday would have been a great idea. For you to get in touch with us because today you would have <laughs> you would have been up 3x so the guy that was thinking man i should call 13 market moves yesterday right is the same fucking guy who's like man why didn't i call them yesterday i would have been up 3x 4x 80x well let them let me give them a call today and that's the same guy that was thinking about calling us yesterday. It's the same guy that's thinking about calling us today. But yet, there's guys out there that are like, you know, fuck it. I'm not going to wait till tomorrow. I'm not going to wait till whatever. I'm just going to fucking do it now. So uh, that point of conclusion where you arrive is like, man... I'm sick and tired of making 500 here, a couple of grand here, 5K here. Guys, you're ready to make some home runs. You come to 30 market moves. That's what our program is about. Okay. We're fixing to give some killer, killer two, three sequences. 13 moves coming up <laughs> in the next 10 days. Guys, you don't want to miss that kind of shit. That's the shit that gets you paid as a trader. So for those of you that are new, you don't know the fucking moves, guys. That's where you should start. Study the 30 market most formula. For those of you that understand it a little bit but like to improve on utilizing it, you give us a call right now. For those of you that are in search of a 500 action, you should not waste any fucking time. Get in touch with us right now, guys. This market is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely this market will pay on the put side. This market will pay on the call side. You just got to know what the fuck to trade. So if you're ready for it, Call us right now. Click the link below this video. Schedule a call with a senior coach here at 30 Mark Moves. Guys, let's go. 100X is staring at you on the put side. 500X is staring at you on the call side. Which way do you want to roll? Roll with 30 Market Moves. That's how you get both of them, baby. Let's go.